Dawn claims she went to bed about 11 o'clock that night. Her bed is right next to the window, and while laying down, she can look out and see the room where the murder was committed. <coughs> she tossed and turned for over an hour, unable to sleep. And at about 12.10, she said she looked out the window and saw the boy stab his father. I mean, as far as I can see, this is an unshakable testimony. That's what I'm saying here. That's the whole case. <coughs> Frankly, in view of this, I don't see how you can vote in favor of a court. What do you think? I don't know. So much evidence to, to sift through before I... Uh, no, no, no. What are you talking about? He's right. You can throw out all other evidence. Listen, I don't deny the validity that the point, of the points that this man's made. Let's say that on one side of the tracks there's doubt. But what can you say about the woman? I mean, she saw it. What time is it? <laughs> Kevin made some six. You're not supposed to let us go home at 3 in the morning? Not a chance. Can't you see the clock without your glasses? Not clearly. Glasses are a nuisance, aren't they? What do you all do when you wake up in the middle of the night and want to know what time it is? Just put my glasses on and look at the clock. I'll wait for my clock to chime. My dad got it for me and my wife when we got married. Ten years before we had anywhere to put it. Do you wear your glasses to bed? Of course not. The woman who testified that she saw the killing, oh, she wears glasses. But what about her? Is she? Of course. She wore bifocals. I remember this very good. They look quite strong. That's right, bifocals. She never took them off. I think it's logical to say that she wasn't wearing her glasses to bed. And I don't think she <coughs> put them on to glance casually out the window. Now, the woman testified that she saw the killing the moment she looked out the window. And then a second later, the lights went out. Now, perhaps the woman honestly thought she saw the boy kill his father, but I say she only saw the boy. How do you know what she saw? What if she's far-sighted? How does he know all these things? Does anyone still think there's no room for reasonable doubt? I, I will always wonder, but there is reason. I think he's guilty. Is anyone else? No. I'm convinced. There's a reasonable doubt. And you're all alone. The vote appears to be 11 not guilty, 1 guilty. I don't care if I'm alone. I have the right! Yes, you have a right. Well, what are you waiting for? I, I told you I think he's guilty. We want your arguments. I gave you my arguments! We're not convinced. We're waiting to hear them again. We have time. What's the matter with you? You were the guy, the guy with all the evidence. You can't leave me now. We're letting a guilty man go. A murderer! He's got to die! Stay with me! I'm sorry. I'm convinced. Usually I don't think I'm wrong, but this once I was. There is a reasonable doubt in my mind. We're waiting. You're not going to intimidate me. I'm entitled to my opinion. It's going to be a hung jury. That's all there is to it. Well, there's nothing we can do about that except hope that why, in a few months, why, you might be able to get some sleep. You're all alone. It takes a great deal of courage to stand alone. Listen, if it's a hung jury, there'll be another trial, and we'll point these things out to the lawyers. Not guilty. <laughs> 